Hey folks, that fix it guy here. Today we're gonna to be looking at a massive cabinet hardware fail in my house. It's something that I didn't really notice until the hardware started to get loose. And so very loose and floppy. It just came that way over time. And I'm gonna show you how to fix that. I bought a cool jig a little while back to do the hardware on my kitchen cabinets. And so I get to pull that out again. I get to show you that and how to use it. So come along, let's get to fixing. The tools we'll be using today are the Rockler Jigit. This thing is awesome. You know, four inch holes. I ended up using these for five inch holes, three and a half inch pulls, like really for a, a standard size pull, this thing worked out really well, super easy to adjust and move around wherever you want. It is awesome. You can leave this in place, take this, flip it to the other side and do the opposite side cabinet. It, it's too good. This cuts hardware time down by, in my opinion, hours and like, Having a jig is awesome. You can easily build a jig too, not a big deal. But this was one that I found that worked out really well for me. This all actually comes with it as well. It's spring loaded, fits right in the holes, and then you just can take it and you push up against it and it just makes a little mark right there with that little bevel. And so it actually gives you a place to just stick a drill bit in really awesome. We're going to use a 3 16 bit to put the screws in. And I, and I used a 5 64 small little baby bit to pre-drill because I was drilling from the back side and not the front. If I was drilling from the front side, I would have just used this bit, not had an issue with it. You're going to need a little pencil, the six and one. I just like to use a screwdriver for this. Um, I tend to not use a drill whenever I'm putting in that kind of hardware. Sometimes you just got to muscle it in a little bit. Work those muscles, work those forearms, right? And then cordless drill to drill some holes. So not a lot of stuff. These are the pools that we use. Like they're pretty, they're nice looking. So I mean, maybe you like that rustic type of look for your kitchen or for your bathroom and you're looking to hook this up. All right, so we'll get started. Okay, so this is the bathroom vanity that we're looking at. What we're focusing on right now are these pulls. Like straight on, they look like they're pretty good. And when they were tight, they were pretty good. But as you can see, <laughs> they, they really did a good job there like hooking this stuff up for you. Um, so as they got loose over time, you just started to notice, hey, wait, there's holes right there. And oh, these are not done right at all. So you see what I'm talking about right here. The holes are right here. So we're gonna go through this step by step. And first thing we're gonna do is remove this handle right here. So you just take a screwdriver Don't mind our toilet paper stash. After we've removed that handle, I'm just gonna take this and kind of line these holes up and just make sure that a screw goes in right there and that we're setting even right through the middle of the other hole down on the bottom. So then I'll just take my awl and you just put that right in the hole and punch it. And then it actually just gives you the exact spot that you're going to drill your next hole. Because this is the flat side and we have the, these trim pieces right here, it's gonna be kind of hard to get in there to actually set because all of these are uneven. So, so what I'm gonna do with that is I'm actually just going to use a smaller bit first, drill a hole through this and then go to the front side with my 5.30 seconds and drill from the front. That roughed that up a little bit, but 
really? When I put this on there, you're not even gonna see it. And there we have it. Like that looks a thousand times better. It is gonna really change the look of this cabinet. That and it actually is gonna be practical and not breaking be bopping everywhere. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do the other one and we'll be hooked up. It's pretty quick. Okay, so there we go. Turning a bad situation into a good situation. These doors look so much better now with this trim. And we don't have to worry about them falling off. And we just came up with another project showing you how to adjust vanity doors. So be on the lookout for that video. It's coming. So that's how I ended up fixing the hardware issue on the vanity cabinet doors. The jig will save you tons of time. It is an awesome investment. If you do a lot of cabinet work, like a jig, in my opinion, is a must. Whether you build one or you buy one like this, they're awesome. I will post a affiliate link in the description box below for all the tools used in this video. If you could please subscribe to the channel, click the like button, share us with your friends, your family, it would be much appreciated. Thank you very much and have a great day.